So the first one I go there where I always lower my level so you can get the reaction. Okay. So make sure I lower the level there, go the reaction, I get it. So I make sure I jump straight away. And you get a little bit of shot there. All the time. Okay, so I like to go. That knee's bad, so it's supposed to have the triangle there. Always good. So that's the first one I go. Okay? Yep. Then that explanation of the half guard concept, remember I always teach the top one where both knees are gonna be on the ground. So what what so knee trap sides. Should, so the trap side knee always gonna get there on the hook. The free knee side where should be on the armpit should be always on the head. So then his top position. Where basically people can do wrongly do the so people can do the way. So to make sure you're doing the right thing, check the trapid knee. So trapid knee side is always on the hook. Free leg side under the head in there the base concept from the top. From the bottom concept, so whoever see he's got the on the hook, he's in a good shape. Whoever gets on the hook is in a good position. Okay, before the on the hook to be safe here underneath. So if you wanna use your half guard to sweep or just keep defending yourself, triangle there, hip escape to that side, forearm on the neck on the hips okay if you want to replace your guard you gotta make sure you have that hook there on top and forms is good to go it's so more about this concept then you can start to understand the other hook there okay but before I get there I go through the process and explain that so I get the guys one knee up one knee up and on the knee there I start with the Half guard there, locked, you see, actually with the knee there. So just hands here, no problem. So I kick that knee, get on the hook, lock my triangle, and come around. That'll be the drill. I'm so I say, let's do five. So I go here, one, go back there, two, three, so on. Then the next one, I start the same thing. I go there, here, but now I open the far away lapel, you gotta remember the four fingers there on the lapel only, then push again. That'll be the next drill. So you go there and start with the lapel open as well. Yeah, lapel. Come on the sides. Okay. Then I go for the whole sweep. I go here, keep open, come on the side. The bottom leg is gonna slide underneath, but at the same time, I'm sliding the leg. The back leg here is kicking him forward. So the bottom one is light. I get on my knees. The forehead must come to the ribs to push him far away, get the far away knee. So I can get on top. So we started from that concept. Now I can start from the actually half guard. So all trap there. Lock the triangle, we learn the forearms concept. I always use the forearm on the neck, no matter how strong the guy is, the neck's always gonna be weak. So very important, the same time you move there, you do a hip escape. So your head's free too. Okay, otherwise your head gets stuck. So you go the under hook, start to go same thing, open the lapel, and on the floor, back leg pushing forward, bottom leg is light, get on knees, forehead on the ribs, far away knee, on top. Okay? So that will be the base one. So now, this would be for the lapel one. Now we're gonna start the deep half cut. Remembering that we could start the deep half cut straight away, jumping from, from standing straight away to deep half cut. This one, we're doing a concept where I got on the hook and they all sort of like him again. So I go here and he get on the hook and shut me down again. I try to get there, it doesn't work. So it's pretty much all good. So instead go here, I go on the side to trap his arm, get the belt or the pants. The best one would be that you give the knee, knee uh, get up a little bit. This would be the best grip, but it's hard to get straight away. So you get there, lock, left hand, use your elbow and get underneath. Now it's all about doing a hip escape here. Move your knees as much as you can, and now the knees goes up and your hand goes underneath there, punch him up. Walk there, use your elbow to push in triangle. Then you got yourself. And it's very important to remember on the deep half guard is where is your neck? If your neck is far away from the leg you have trapped, it's very hard. But if your leg is close, 
then you're in very good position on deep half guard here. Okay? And now, once you got deep, you got the grips there with the four fingers here, lock here, you're good to sweep. The main thing is walking his knees together. So Leo's knee must be close as possible. So I go foot, hip scape, foot, hip scape. Soon he's forward, pull down, still on top. Now is the main thing. If I stay here, he go amba, triangle, whatever. So the right hand here must come to the knee pants to suck the leg in and I release the, the armpit lapel, then move my hand to the other side and suck the and then I'm safe. And then I can start to play from here. Okay? So next one, I go deep there, the same concept. So get the deep half that. Go there, change the triangle, walk, walk. Walk when I pull him down, he's not forced. So instead of go that way, I go this way. Punch and pull at the same time. Should be turning my knees up really. So when I turn on my knee, I change the side of my head, release the hand of the armpit, forehead and the ribs following me on top. Okay? And the second one, then you keep playing with those ones. You defend one, you go to the other, defend the other, you go to the one, and so on. Okay? Now so you go deep. Remember all of them, he can always go and turn to the reverse of half guard. Go reverse of half guard. And all the time that happens, we're gonna do the same sweep. So I will finish the other one I have, then we can go for the reverses one. Same thing as you go when I go on the, I go on the lapel. He can always switch to the reverse of half guard. Go to the reverse of half guard. Again. Okay, so getting there, we're gonna have one sweep that's very strong. So not a problem. What I'm trying to say is not a problem if he gets to the to the reverse half guard. Okay. Then the last one that I do there after get the deep after those two basic ones. Remember how to get deep there. So the arm is not there. I like to open the lapel. Open. Make sure you move that way first. Your hips always inside him, so it's easy to get there. It's just a little bump. Gonna get that. Make sure now you go deep as you can the lapel, so your elbow joint fits underneath his knee joint. It's far away, it works, but it's gonna be hard. Make sure you go there and there. So when you go there, you concentrate on the right hand. Can be belt, can be other lapel. No problem. Can be hip side or pants, what I prefer. Okay, go out there. You got those grips, you're good to sweep. You move the hip all the way back. Look, go to have a triangle there. All the way. Keep the leg up, so avoiding. You're supposed to put this knee to help you now. Put the leg. Okay. Once you leave there, swing so the hip away, open, crunch and kick to the sides. Then get on top. That will be the main one with the lapel. And now, the one when he goes reverse or half guard, remember it can be for the end situation. Doesn't matter which situation he's going to reverse or half guard, you're going to do the same sweep. So you get in here, you're trying to sweep and he's going reverse or half guard. Make sure when he lands, your hands between his legs. Okay? And usually your triangle is this side. What is okay? Because you're defending the knee bar. But he's going to pull your knee that way. Boom. All the time. Okay? So to avoid that, First, you can, even if he's great, if you're too far, you can always break his grip. And now you have to change the drive. Let's see how I can do so Your leg's supposed to be there locked, okay? Then inside. Now, don't worry about anything. All I have to do, open the far away lapel. Your triangle's supposed to be locked like that. Open the lapel, boom. And move inside again. Triangle lock there. Use that foot on the ground, hip up, boom, underneath. Got it. You got this. The left hand comes this side now then. So this left hand now comes there. Change the pants as well. Got the pants, sweep is done. Move, triangle still locked. I change my triangle, move, and I place the other one underneath. So it's underneath and I'm, remember you're not kicking up. So make sure you move your hip out. Soon you open, you hit the ground and to the side. Come on top. 